Today we're going to go through and set up the Framework 16 laptop internally and externally with the modules for both RAM, NVMEs, the keyboard customizations, and the touchpad. If this is the video that you're looking for, let's jump on in. Hello, my name is Joshua. I go by JSCAR here, and today we're going to go through the unboxing video you've already hopefully seen. We're going to get everything prepped so we can go through and do our first time setup of our Framework 16. This is everything that I've gone through and received from Framework from my order. None of this was paid for by Framework. This was all out of pocket. I went through and spent my money on this. So uh, this is the second time opening this. There's actually a protective piece of plastic that's inside of this from the shipping so let's jump in by first removing the two tabs here on the side which will then allow us to take out these modules these are all aluminum which is kind of nice so they're made of metal they've got some heft to them and then what you're going to do is you're going to slide it towards the front because there's a little lip on the actual modules and you can see these contacts on how it would go through and touch each one of these. Now, unlike the Framework 13 inch, this has got a lot more screws to get into it. Step one is to unplug these uh, pogo pin modules, and then you're going to need to unscrew 16 screws. Practically, this is going to take you about three minutes versus when on the 13 inch, you only have five screws to get in. But the thing is, this has got a lot more for you to be able to upgrade in place. And it's got that internal GPU. So this just takes a couple minutes. Uh, they are all captured screws. So you're not going to accidentally lose them because on the backside, there's something holding it in place. So after you've got all 16 undone, do go in order. This will pop off. And then we can flip this thing over and actually see the connection and that blue strip which we'll talk about more here when we start patching things up. This is the first look internally. This is our Wi-Fi card that we've got. As long, as long as we've also got the storage areas, both NVMe, one is 2230 and one's 2270. Those are the different lengths. So with the RAM, there's DDR5, we're going to 600. I started with the eight gig versions and that they were actually selling from framework snap these guys in place and you'll hear the nice satisfying click so you're good to go and then let's go ahead and install the original sn770 mvme which was just 250 to start with so you have to first remove the mvme screw and then you can actually install the drive like such and after that we can go through and screw back in place so you can actually go through and install two mvme drives one at the full length here and then one at the 2230 the same size that you put inside of a steam deck now when you see this next picture i want to make sure to call this out because this is not on video that you need to remove the mvme cooler which is you see this blue strip that's here Remove that before installing this back onto your NVMe to make sure it doesn't overheat. Uh, I actually just took the video and reversed it from the assembly because I didn't record that process. So make sure to do that so your stuff doesn't overheat because I didn't see that called out any place. After you put all 16 screws back in, then you're going to make sure to plug in that ribbon cable and then it's down to the keyboard time. I went with the standard keyboard at the time. You can upgrade and do an RGB fully programmable keyboard, which is kind of cool. But if I was going to change anything for my pre-order, I could have been delayed further. So to start off with, here we go. This does have backlight capability, which is great. So once we unbox everything, comes apart pretty easily this does have the windows key versus a linux or meta key may look good into upgrading to a different keyboard in the future but let's start off with putting this in the center 
magnix just grab it and snap it on down which is fantastic and then let's take a look at some of these other modules that you can actually use as well so you have just a standard spacer you have an led matrix or you just have a luminescent spacer or a number pad they also have a full rgb programmable keypad i did not pick that up this time around so let's take a look at this numpad so while we could open it on the bottom uh, because the box is already partly open let's do it from the top side how it was intended we'll open things up and pull it out and as of time of me getting this all up and running i had not seen the ability to backlight this but things have already updated on the firmware this also has a backlight not only on the full keyboard but also on the number pad so you pull up to the front of the lip it should come up and then these just snap and grab right down in place with those magnets so this will be my assembly for now which works out pretty well some people like the number pad other people don't but there's also possibilities of being able to put like screens or other devices here as well let's go ahead and take a look at these other guys so i was under the impression that these came as a set or two inside of a box when i opened this up i found out you're only getting a single spacer at a time so i ordered one black one led and one luminescence instead of a set so be aware if you've got your pre-order in or in the future if you want to go through and play with these you'll need to order two not just a single and they've got again the contacts on the back this one does absolutely nothing except look really cool i thought it had like leds in the back no not the case so these are your two just standard passive ones and then you have the led matrix so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and supposedly you're supposed to be able to go through and program this uh, the firmware has yet to come out for that so it's got some random things on there by default but look forward to that in the future so from here let's uh swap some of these out and see how it looks so let's lift the number pad out of the way you're supposed to go to this area and then lift in the front i mean the magnets are going to hold it in place so you might struggle a little bit let's move this back to the center just like that put the, your front in and then the magnet just holds onto the back which is great just like that awesome so now that that's held in place let's go ahead and put our trackpad back in i'm going to center it for now you can offset it as well which is great whether your number pad or if you have other preferences again there's the lip so press down and then slide it back to the screen same idea with these side spacers just like that you slide it in place and then you can go through and press these orange lockers on the very front side and it'll make sure everything stays in place we can also go to the bezel i just went with the standard black bezel they now have a bunch of different colors that you can go through and do and upgrade to later on and again it just attaches with magnets which is fantastic so line everything up these hinges are pretty high and i can see this piece came out a little bit just push it back into place let's adjust the camera and put this thing together snapped on the bottom snapped on the top you're done your monitor bezel is installed with that that's the internal setup and the keyboard and mouse setup our next video will go through modules 
we'll go through our module setup, optimization of where you want to put those, and then OS installation recommendations. If you like this, like, subscribe, and follow for more content like this.